Hello and welcome back. I just wanted to quickly go over some options um, that you can consider. I just want to test the light. Yeah. Um, that you may consider for your illuminated letter design. Um, so one option that we have here is color pencils. Um, so you could use color pencils. Um, my son uses this. Um, as his crayon box, it's just an old Huggies box. It's been around for quite some time. Um, so he has like a whole bunch of crayons. You could use crayons. You could use watercolor. Um, some of you might have um, a big watercolor set or a small watercolor set. It doesn't matter. One cool thing about watercolors is you can mix different colors in your palette area and create new colors. Um, just keep in mind, if you're using watercolor, you really need to make sure that you're using sketchbook paper only, um, printer paper, and the um, notebook paper. It would be too soft. Um, it wouldn't be durable enough for watercolor. So if you're going to use watercolor, I would only use it if you have a sketchbook paper. And if you don't have any of those things, if you don't have colored pencils, um, oh, sorry, one other thing I forgot to mention, you could also use marker as well. So if you don't have any of those other things, then you could always just use your mechanical pencil or number two pencil and shade. So I just want to show you a few different options here. So when shading, um, I mean where you transition your value. Value is one of the elements of art. And so you transition your value from light to dark, dark to light. So as you see here, I've already started to go in a little bit with uh, a few color pencil techniques using some light green, dark green. I think I use also a little bit of brown. Um, so using a variety of colors to express my design. Um, but let's say if I wanted to go in a little bit of marker and you're not limited to one thing or the other. So you could really um, go with whatever, you know, material that you prefer. So I could use marker. Um, for example, I, if I wanted to use marker like for my outline design, I could do that. And then maybe I switch my medium and I could use colored pencil. So it's up to you if you wanted to use something. I ring a cowbell. It was up to you. That was just my lamp. It's up to you, you if you want to use different material. I tend to like to kind of shade around the edge of my examples and make it light in the center. Just think it makes it look a little more interesting. So um, if I wanted to, if I didn't have those resources, if I didn't have color pencil, if I didn't have crayon, if I didn't have marker, I could use my pencil. So how could I use my pencil? I could use my pencil to shade. So for example, I could focus on this color up here or this section up here. So I could shade dark in one section and then gradually get lighter. So I could do that throughout my entire design. But most likely, most of you will have something laying around the house, um, whether it belongs to you or a younger sibling, you know, just ask them like, hey, you know, can I use your crayons for a project real quick? <laughs> and um, just use whatever you have at home. So I could just kind of shade and create different values. Um, and typically I let, I prefer to shade with a uh, number two pencil instead of mechanical pencil, but this is just what I grab really quick. Most students do have, a lot of you do have mechanical pencils. So just wanted to show you those few options there, um, whether you wanted to use marker, whether you wanted to use color pencil, just thinking about good technique blending technique so for example i don't want to just go in and scribble all willy-nilly 
Um, but I want to go in and make sure my craftsmanship is good. So I want to stay inside the lines, make sure it's nice and neat, all of that good stuff. And just take your time coloring in your various spaces. Now, what to do in the inside? Well, the inside is really up to you, but I will ask for you to upload what you decide to do in the inside. It can be a personal note to a family member. Um, it could be a poem, but of course, anytime you write a poem or use a material, you want to use like quotations and cite. Um, so write who wrote the poem, things like that. Um, and of course, sign your name and, you know, just keep personalize it and I'm the only one that will be able to see it. So that's about it. So once again, you can decide to use colored pencil, marker, crayons, or graphite pencil, or watercolor paint. Um, just remember with watercolor paint, you really wanna make sure you have the right kind of paper, um, preferably a mixed media paper. Sketchbook paper can work. Um, or watercolor paper is best and mixed media paper is best, but sketchbook paper can work. You just wanna be careful and not oversaturate um, your water. You don't wanna to add too much water to your paper if you are using watercolor. So happy coloring and I can't wait to see what your uh, projects look like at the end of the week. And um, I posted the due date for May 8th uh, for the projects to be due on Friday. All right. Well, happy coloring and I will chat with you soon.